hey what's up it's your boy prince back with another video and i know that it's been a while since my last training update seeing that we had a break with covid situation and we had us to evacuate camp and uh, we were doing virtual learning we were home for a bit um but yeah so i'm back to give you guys a final update on the rest of the weeks that i spent before um i passed out yes your boy passed out and uh, for those on my instagram follow my instagram Yes, you would have seen my pics and videos. Done with basic training. I'll definitely give you guys like a synopsis video of the entire phase one. Um, just a short quick video I'll definitely do that soon but this video I really wanted to give you guys a review of the full uh, give you guys a review of the rest of the weeks because I stopped at week 8 and we did a lot of weeks in virtual learning but we had to go back to camp and, and finish uh, more weeks in physical training and I'll give you guys more updates on what we did for those weeks as a whole and so we went back to camp and uh, we had a week of tests like just tests after tests uh explosive ordnance shit um we did cbrn chemical biological you know that kind of stuff weapon handling tests and being away from your weapons for like weeks six weeks uh it was definitely like you need a refresher in a sense but you have a test so just do your research on it if you you're not really good at weapon handling try and get as much knowledge as you can because uh, when we went back there was a test in the same week i think weapon handling test you had to strip your weapons to stoppages uh, they want to make sure that you still have your drills so intact so i mean i did pass which is good um so you will also be getting the cbr in physical tests knowing how to put on your respirator uh, the decontamination gel um, you know how to drink through your respirator as well drink water through your respirator uh, we also had a BCD test as well it's a physical test where you'd have to you know go to your aid memoir for you know the battle BCD the drill book um, know how you have to know how to apply a tourniquet also how to put a casualty you have a dummy we had a dummy big heavy dummy and we had was to put that dummy into a prone position uh, how to stop a bleed you have to know how to put put on you know the bandage the ECB also there was an, another dummy as well where you have to give like CPR and compressions too and you'll be getting a map reading physical test and also a theory so study or workbook for the theory test um, also with the physical test you'll be given different good references and you'll be given a map in a group in your section and you guys will have to like go around we we were we used concrete hill area and we were given different ref, good references one when you find one you'll be directed to another reference so you'll have to be going around uh, running around uh, to meet a certain time because you had us to get back in time so uh, we were given about five different grid references that we had us to find in that timing so it was fun it was a challenge you'll be running around and yeah, for miles for hours an hour or two i think <laughs> but uh yeah that was fun because you're in a group so everybody collectively pulled their weight and um yeah just assist however they can in terms of finding finding these um references and positions on the map so we mainly did a lot of tests and a lot of ranges shooting like we were on the range for as i said like a week into two weeks just shoot it like i love the ranges right i mean the walk to the ranges is a bit much back and forth but the sun is hot to like i got burnt out of sun every day it was sunny it was hot like scorching sun like i'm black and i turned blacker you know what i mean so yeah but ranges are pretty cool it was fun you had you you get practice somewhat for your acmt uh, which is your shooting test shooting from 200 meters 100 meters shoot kneel kneeling unsupported shooting sitting 
um, position, prone position. It will be going down in the trench, and there are some trench holes across the ranges for those who haven't been there. And you have to go inside of those trenches and aim at targets 200 meters away, 100 meters away. As a range week, it was pretty dope, demanding, um, because obviously you want to do good on your ACMT test and pass it. So there's a lot of different positions we did sitting, kneeling, um, prone. Everybody loved the prone because you're just laying down flat and uh, you're well supported. And also we did, was it close combat shoot? We did a shoot that you would be like 15 meters or 10 meters, sometimes five meters from targets. And you would be like shooting at one point from 15. Then you move up to 10, then you move up to five. Like, and you just like giving rounds to that target here. Yeah. So that was fun. Like that was fun. Range week was good. It was good. So yeah, we basically did a lot of tests and um, a lot of shooting. So I passed. Thanks be to God. Passed. Um, lots of weapon cleaning. <laughs> yeah, like lots of weapon cleaning. Like oh my, after every range day, you have to clean your weapons. <laughs> yeah, you just had to sit down with your rug for hours, for an hour or two, cleaning that weapon. Yeah. Definitely learned a lot that I'm gonna take with me forever. Like, and but as I said, I'll give you guys a, a, a review on the entire process. Um, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, I just wanted to close this chapter of the weekly videos and just move on to the next updates in my phase two. And just excited to see what's to come in my phase two training and keep you guys up to date again thank you guys for supporting my page thank you guys for being here from day one some of you are here from week my first posting which was week one seems like yesterday uh, i can't believe that i made it through all the weeks um, but thank you for your support the day one riders those with their notifications on you know who you are those who comment every time um dm me with questions and yeah uh, thank you guys for always being with me and uh, supporting the page much love, see you in the next video, stay tuned, like more is coming, stay tuned, much love.